Getting set for race number six from Red Shores in Charlottetown this afternoon as the horses swing in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Vance Cameron up to you for the race call. Elm Grove Penny. A spoonful of sugar. The real McCoy. Little Miss Ava. Chauvin's Brownie Woodmere Stella. Vicky Every Day. J.J. Talisa on the grandstand side. It's the Atlantic Breeders' Crown Final for two-year-old Philly Pacers. Top of the stretch. Here they come. Rough and pacing, a spoonful of sugar leaving out. Elm Grove Penny at the rail, Little Miss Ava third into the turn. Tobin's Brownie will get away fourth. The real McCoy goes fifth, Woodmere Stella sixth. Then Vicky Everyday seventh, then the trailer. J.J. Tolisa and off stride went. Elm Grove Penny and Hughes put her in the safety lane. Up the back stretch by three lengths early. A spoonful of sugar for Dale Spence, the leader. Second is Little Miss Ava. Tobin's Brownie moved into third. Back to the racetrack in fourth is Elm Grove Penny. And there goes the inquiry sign. Back into fifth, the Rio McCoy. Woodmere Stella sixth. Then Vicky Everyday seventh. Then the trailer. J.J. Tolisa. The quarter's up in 20. 28 and 3 down the stretch for time one. They had the half mile in their sights. The leader, a spoonful of sugar. Little Miss Ava is second. Tobin's Brownie third. All alone in fourth is Elm Grove Penny. The real McCoy's in fifth. Then six is Woodmere Stella. Vicky every day is seventh. And the trailer, J.J. Talisa, 57! The Rees Finch sitting up in here. They're going to 5 H led by a spoonful of sugar. Second in Little Miss Ava. Tobin's Brownie now makes a move to the outside third. Elm Grove Penny once again has gone offside. Coming fourth on the outside is Woodmere Stella. The real McCoy fifth. Vicky every day. J.J. Talisa. Now the trailer, Elm Grove Penny. They go by three quarters and one. 27 and three. Tobin's Brownie cleared. And she starts to pull away from them now. A spoonful of sugar is second. Little Miss Ava third. Down the home stretch in the Atlantic Breeders' Crown Championship Final. And she is a champion. Tobin's Brownie and Dowling all alone capture the final. A spoonful of sugar is second. Little Miss Ava will finish third. One, 57. Three. There is a sixth race, judges' inquiry. Well, Ken, we uh, talked about her lots in the pre-race and uh, heading into race number six here today. She had been dominating, really, from start to finish. David was patient here today, sat three early, but when he made the brush, Ken, it was pretty much all over. Absolutely, and uh, on the lead as they uh, turn for home here is Tobin's Brownie, who basically pulls off a brush and crush, methodically marches by past the three quarters off the fractions of 28 and 3, 57, 3, 127 and 3 fifths. Dale Spence with a spoonful of sugar uh, setting the fractions, uh, finishing a distant second in front of Little Miss Ava, who is a bang up third at 63 to 1, but it's all Tobin's Brownie crowned a champion here, the daughter of Stonebridge Terror, David Dowling, Jonah Most, James Quinn, Carl Peterson, Amy Lake, and or Amy Lackey, and Wendell Williams, the uh, breeder from Ellerslie, Prince Edward Island. Tobin's Brownie capping off a sensational season with her eighth win in 12 starts. The results of the sixth race judges' inquiry, one Elm Grove Penny made the break on her own. There is no violations.
Tobin's Bounty, no stranger to the winner's circle, just picked off her fifth consecutive victory. Tobin's Bounty, Bay Pacing Philly 2 by Stonebridge Terror, off the Grinton from here to Ear Dam, Putnam McKenzie, on by James Quinn, Carl Peterson, and Amy Lockie. Bred by Wendell Williams of Ellerslie, trained by Jonah Most in those David Dowling hands, a going away winner today in 157 and 3. Tobin's Bounty captures the Cavendish Farms Atlantic Breeders' Crown Championship final for two-year-old Philly Pacers. <laughs> 